Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube live. Um, it's been some time since we last did a YouTube live and I'm hoping to run you through a creator studio today. And if you have questions about Instagram, about uh, social media, especially Instagram or uh, YouTube as well, feel free to drop in the comments below. I'm Shamin, Chief Digital Marketing Officer at Sky Digital Agency. And I hope that um, all of you are well. If you are new to social media or you, are, you have been using uh, schedule tools such as Buffer, Hootsuite, um, I would say Creator Studio is quite similar. There are some benefits to using Creator Studio. So if you have any questions um, with regards to uh, using Creator Studio, let me know. But um, one of the key things about Creator Studio is that it is by Facebook, okay? And um, there is a function that can be quite helpful for you. If you go to Creator Studio for Facebook and you click on create new post, what happens is that they have this function that you can schedule your post. Let me click on my own page to Facebook and Instagram. Okay, and you can see here, you can add photos, you can add videos, you can go live, you can check a location. Okay, there's more options here, right? And you can do all this. Um, I don't really foresee you needing to set up a hub to stop the news feed, uh, but I have had participants, uh, for example, Singapore National Stadium, where they post about two times a day or even three times a day. And sometimes when concerts or certain events, certain uh, campaigns are over, they would like to stop the distribution. So you will only need to consider uh, stopping the distribution if you're in this kind of very unique scenario of time-sensitive content. So you don't want people to actually uh, be receiving content that is outdated or take part in uh, content and you foresee that your post will go viral. Okay, so um, let's jump into scheduling. Uh, typically what I do is I schedule on Instagram and I push it to Facebook. Uh, you can do the other way around as well. You can schedule for Facebook and you can push it to Instagram. Okay, my preference is... Uh, to do it on Instagram reason because I um, have more content going on Instagram than on Facebook. Uh, for Facebook, we actually do something called Facebook Live. Uh, so we don't repeat 100% of our content from Instagram to Facebook, but we choose our top content to uh, schedule over. So there's some differentiation uh, and value adding uh, when we talk about uh, following us on the different platforms. Okay, so once you come into Creator Studio, I suggest you log in via Facebook, it's easier. If you log in via Instagram, there are some limitations. Uh, but after you log in via Facebook, you can click on this tab. If you have linked your Instagram, Facebook together, your business Facebook, business Instagram together, you will have this option here. Once you click on it, you click on create post. You can schedule IG video as well. Um, so you can look into that. All right, but today's purpose is to show you how to schedule a post, okay? So um, you go to from file upload and you can have your captions, location, right? So I have three images that I just designed uh, in our class. So this is the first image, okay? Once I'm done with the first image, I can click on this uh, blue wording and content here to add my second and third graphics, okay? Why do we need three graphics? Actually, you can schedule one, but what I like to uh, tell people is that if you actually uh, design and have a call to action, it actually allows you uh, to, be, to understand the engagement rates. Okay, so if people are interested, they will slide uh, to the second slide. And if they slide the second slide, it signals to Instagram that, hey, uh, there's some interest here. Okay, in this post. So all you need to do is just type your um, captions and have your hashtags. Okay, so I'm just going to do something like uh, okay, before you post on Instagram, here's a checklist for you. Um, you can do very short captions. I think that works uh, quite some quite quite a bit, but some people like to elaborate on captions. That's fine as well. Okay, and the next thing you need to do is a uh, uh, hashtag research on what hashtag you would like to use. 
Okay, so I've done a uh, social media checklist, social media tips. I recommend at least uh, 10 to 15 hashtags, okay? If you are new to hashtags, you can't find any hashtags, you need some help, uh, drop a comment below uh, out, uh, with your Instagram link. I'll take a look and give you some ad, um, tips and advice on hashtags, all right? Um, so um, learn marketing. Okay, learn social media. Okay, so learn marketing is a bit generic, but I could do learn SG or SG learning. Uh, learn SG, do skills future SG as well. Okay, learn social media marketing. Uh, Instagram post design. Okay, so uh social media sg as well once you're done okay for me i think i'm almost done it's going to put things like uh social media course instagram course. oops social media trainer yes. Okay, so I have about 14 hashtags left. Actually, I would recommend you to use as many as you can that is relevant. Um, of course, if you need help uh, with hashtags, just drop a comment below. Typically, I like to put a location that is relevant. So for example, for us, we're in Singapore, but Singapore is a little bit generic. So I would suggest uh, things like Raffles Place, okay, which is where we are located at. Um, typically, for unless you have a location for example like for us we have added our location in but the problem is there are many other sky digital agencies around so it's a little bit difficult to know from here whether we got the location right okay so what we do is um we do raffles place okay uh, or i can do like uh, raffles mrt station uh, this helps geolocation ad adding location is a geolocation tag and that helps in discoverability okay if i run out of so hashtag ideas what i like to do is for example i go to um, a social media checklist which is one of the hashtags that i used earlier okay there's 2000 uh, posts in it and i will look at the top post and in the top post, if the engagement is all right, I would like to take a look at uh, what they are post, uh, what hashtags they are using. So this two is pretty okay. This 220, this is 12, this is a lot. Let's take a look at the 221. Okay, so they didn't really use uh, hashtags, um, which is actually not recommended. There are big accounts that don't use hashtags. Influencer tips, influencer agency, okay. So they don't really have hashtags that we can use. Um, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, Instagram growth hacks, small business, uh, content ideas. These are some hashtags that I can use, okay? All right, so um, once you're done with your hashtags, uh, just double check that you have a location. Uh, I would suggest that add some emojis as well using uh, this. Uh, scheduler there are some emojis here available for you okay and then remember to tag so for me i will tag sky digital agency if you don't tag yourself what happens is that eventually you will not see any polls when people uh, view via the profile view which i could hop over to show you what i mean um later okay and i can oops okay you can see that the maximum that they allow me to tag is 32 more okay and this is because this is a carousel post okay uh if you just uh, have a single image there's lesser people that you can tag okay so i'm done i could do okay so just double check that you have tagged everyone. If you want to schedule to Facebook, you could um, just check this option and select the scheduling date. Okay, so now that I'm done with this one, I just want to double check on uh, the hashtags as well. So for example, 
let's just double check on this one, which is most recent, social media checklist, social media content creator, con uh, content creation. These are some uh, hashtags idea. It's always good to use, you know, uh, hashtags that are going to help you for discoverability. Okay, social media SG, um, social media agency. Okay, SG California. Okay, sometimes I don't recommend you to uh, type the hashtag out on your own because sometimes with just a spelling error, uh, you're using another hashtag. So always uh, check through your hashtags that um, these are hashtags that uh, people are using. Okay, SG Entrepreneur 33,000. So if I am afraid that I spelled it wrongly, just um, paste it back. Okay. Now, all you need to do is just schedule. I'm not going to push this to um, Facebook. So I'm just going to schedule this post uh, for today, okay, at about 8.45 p.m., okay? And I click schedule, all right? So usually what I do is I plan about a month ahead and I will schedule. So it's easier that I don't uh, think about my content week to week. Um, so another post that I've just uh, completed in our previous lesson okay, was Telegram marketing do's and don'ts. And another one that I would uh, complete shortly is Instagram marketing do's and don'ts. And once I'm done, I would schedule them as well uh, to have uh, the content apart. But this, because this is my uh, content pillar for this month and probably next month. So I would actually schedule the do's and don'ts about two weeks apart. So they don't um, show up back to back, right? Similarly to social media statistics, I have one, two, three in this post, which I will schedule uh, in, say, for example, early next week, uh, which is my social media post, where it says social media, four, five, six, some statistics. I think I'm short of one more statistic that I need to find to put it in and I can download and schedule them, okay? So this is how you can think about uh, your posts and scheduling them. I think I'm short of one more step here which once I'm done, I'm going to download this and also use uh, Creator Studio to schedule them. So today, if I can schedule four posts, that's one month's worth of content if you show up once a week. Uh, for many businesses, if you're not, um, you're service-based, probably showing up once a week is a good start, okay? And if you have any questions about Instagram, about posting, about scheduling via Creator Studio, um, do drop a comment below. If you've been using Buffer, Hootsuite later, if you're happy with these apps, uh, you know, go ahead. No, there's no, I would say there's not much difference, but I do see that when I schedule through the Creator Studio, it's easier for me to push the content and also understand the insights, uh, see a little bit more of my uh, schedule and adjust the schedule accordingly. Because sometimes when I schedule something for this week, I might want to push it. So for example, this post here, it was scheduled for tomorrow, but I just pushed it because I have another post that I would like to schedule for this uh, uh, account. Okay. So uh, thank you so much for joining me in this uh, live uh, webinar. If you have any questions, uh, happy to hear and happy to get back to you on them as well. And uh, thank you for staying throughout this video. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. So remember, to subscribe if you'd like to uh, be notified of our future videos, which I'm going to do some audits on uh, some of the accounts and we can learn from one another. We can learn from other accounts how we can improve our content. Okay, thank you and see you.